Okay, so you know, if you follow me for a while, you see that I use this adapter all the time. This thing, it's called a Chatham adapter. And what the heck is this Chatham adapter? And what is it capable of doing? And what's the whole point of it? Okay, I'm gonna make it really quick this time. So the Chatham adapter will allow you to, I'm gonna show you here, you see this is a big freaking plug. It allows you to use those fast chargers that the Nissan Leaf or Kia Soul or some of the other EVs use. It allows Tesla to charge on those fast chargers. So the Chatham adapter won't, okay, it will give you faster charging, but with this one, this one is not a charger. The charger is in the car or at the fast charger nearby here. I'm gonna demonstrate soon. This one will not give you faster charging at home. It's just an adapter to allow you to charge on those other fast chargers. All right, I'm gonna show you now how it works. Okay, so we are outside of IKEA in uh, Oslo where they have four fast chargers. So there's already one leaf charging over there, which also uses the channel plug. Uh, let me show you here. So, you know, this is not a Chadamo charger. It is a 50 kilowatt DC fast charger with different plugs. And one of the plugs is the Chadamo plug. This one. Chadamo. This is the one we want. Uh, the CCS cannot be used. This one is for i3 and e-golf and whatever, uh, ionic. Uh, but most fast chargers around, at least around in Europe, they are equipped with both of them. And you can only, this is the, the fast charger, and you can only use one of the plugs at a time. So if someone is charging on this plug, you cannot fast charge on this one. So here I have attached the Chadamo plug to the Chadamo adapter, and then I do that first, and then I plug it into the car. Uh, nothing happens because we have to start charging. And this is where you need, well, you can do it other ways, but the easiest way is to use one of these uh, RFID, you have to order them from Fortrim or Game from Fortrim. They will send, me, send it to you for free. So you just say start, Chadamo, okay, and then show the RFID. You hear that click? That means that uh, it starts charging, it, it turns on the power. And uh, let me show you how it looks like in the car once it starts charging. So it will ramp up. And it's pretty fast. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see, let me switch, okay, I can show you this. You see, we are gonna, let me switch off the heater here. So it's gonna build up the speed. And if you have uh, a 75, oh, sorry, if you have an 85 or 90 or 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, you will get fairly good speed because the nominal voltage is higher. Um, now the Chalamo explains <laughs> as short and simple as possible. It can only output around 110 to 120 amps. And then it depends on the voltage. So it's not like, you know, if you have low voltage, you're not gonna go past 120 amp here. So that means <clears throat> the higher voltage you have, the more speed, but and the higher voltage, in order to gain higher voltage, you have to have higher state of charge or, highest, or higher charge. But if you have too much, too high charge, then, you know, it has to taper off the speed when it gets kind of full. Uh, so, in, in general, let me switch here, okay, uh, 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 language and units, energy. In general, on the 85, 90 and 100 pack, you get the best speed around 60-ish to, I would say 80 something, yeah, between 60 and 80% on those cars, um, the, the bigger battery packs. Now on the low, uh, lower cars, let's say the 60, 70, and 75 kilowatt hour pack, they have lower nominal voltage. So if if this was, you know, let's say uh, 60 or 75, the voltage here at 64% wouldn't be 388. It would be maybe like 350 or something. So you get slower speed. And uh, the optimal speed on those batteries uh, is different. I don't remember exactly, but uh, in general, you have to be higher, uh, maybe like 70 to 90% or something, yeah. Uh, but let's see, so see, I'm, I'm receiving 42 kilowatt now, which is uh, pretty good, yeah. Uh, the optimal, quick math here is that uh, if this charger would give me 120, this one is slightly slower than uh, some of the other ones, I would get about 48 kilowatt, that is the maximum. I almost never see 50 kilowatt. In order to get 50 kilowatt, you have to have some kind of high state of charge. 
And also, by the way, if you start charging around here at the very bottom, you will usually get around 36 kilowatt only on this pack. On the smaller pack, you might get only 30 kilowatt. But there might also be some slower chargers out there. I've met some of them. Uh, most, I mean, almost all the Fortum chargers are pretty fast. 110 to 120 amp, whereas the um, the Grun Contact, some of the Grun Contact, they are kind of slow. Some of them only deliver uh, 90 amp, but most of them also deliver 110, 120. Yeah, uh, and what speeds can you expect? Uh, you see here, it starts climbing up now. It's an average since we started charging. So uh, normally you can expect around 200 kilometers per hour or about 125 miles per hour on the big pack. On a small pack, um, slightly less than that, around 170 kilometers per hour, miles per hour. But this is just uh, like a generalization because the kilometers per hour depends on the type of car. Uh, but how fast is this? I mean, just to give you uh, also a reference of how fast it is. Um, if you don't have this adapter and you have to charge on type 2 AC charging, you will get around one third or one half of that speed only. Yeah, so I would say it's pretty fast. Yeah, it's um, and it's definitely worth it because this adapter will cost you about uh, in Norway 4,800 nook in other places in the world around 400 to 500 dollars or euros. So it's kind of expensive, but um, it's really worth it for the speed. Okay, one small comment at the very end here. I also tried this channel adapter on a 100 kilowatt uh, fast charger. Uh, it didn't work. I mean, it worked, of course, but I only received up to 50 kilowatt. And the, the, the limitation is within the adapter. You cannot get more than 50 kilowatt from this adapter. Yeah. But anyway, I hope this video was useful for you. Maybe uh, you finally know what the heck this Chatham adapter is. And uh, maybe you want it or not. But I say, get it. If you drive far and if you have uh, these fast chargers in the country, then get it. It's going to be freaking awesome. You don't have to worry about uh, range anxiety and all that shit. Yeah. Alright, so uh, that's it for now then. Thank you for watching.